Hello everyone, this is Usage Sake, back with the second episode of Root Letter. So last time we made it to Matsue, we met some of the locals, and we learned about the fate of Aya Fumino. We wrote her letters 15 years ago that suddenly stopped, but the locals are saying she died in a fire 25 years ago not 15. So, very mysterious, very suspicious. Hopefully in this episode we'll start to unravel some of those mysteries. So we're in the Matsue Inn, we slept the first night, and now it's morning. So let's continue our journey. It's my second day in Matsue. I still can't believe what happened yesterday. There's a knock at the door. Come in. Tomoko comes into my room. Good morning. Morning. I'm here to put your futon away. Oh, thanks. Are you exploring the town today, sir? I came here to find Aya Fumino. I'm thinking I'll walk around town and see if I can find anyone who knew her. Tomoko puts the futon away and exits the room. Hmm. Let's go ahead and save. I didn't get a chance to do that last time. We're in chapter one, the first letter. So if you're curious about the time there, so last time I recorded this was a few days ago and I didn't get to a point where I could save. So I should have played maybe for another minute or two last time. Um, I've learned my lesson. And so what I did was I just turned the console off and then I replayed it and made all the same choices. So it, it's all the same choices. It's the same story, everything. It's just the play time is you know, 45 minutes off. Okay, so what are we going to do? Let's go ahead and check out Matsue N. Let's go to the entrance hall. Is there anything we can check in here? There's a few different locations here. The manager and staff probably welcome guests from here. Some shelves over here. I wonder what's in here. We'll never know. I wonder what's in here. Again, we'll never know, apparently. Looks like I can enter the public bath through here. Okay. This location doesn't have anything for us. The hallway, I don't know if we saw this last time. It's probably right outside my room. Poster on the wall. This is a rather tasteful picture. Okay. It's a nice looking hotel. I'd, I'd like to stay here, I think. It's a well-polished hallway. All right. This does look nice. Okay. Well, what do we do now? We move around the town and ask people, I guess. I'd like to ask the innkeeper. Where I should start looking, I really don't know. It's a nice entrance. There's a smoking area. I'm sure smokers go here. Okay. That's how we enter. Okay. There's pretty much nothing. Okay. So let's move around town, I guess. Can I check the guidebook? Hmm. Hmm. 
I guess we have to go to the map. Kiyomise shopping area. We have a new area to check out. I'm here at the Kiyomise shopping area. There's a lot of shops, the kind that are popular with women. I think I'll ask some of the people around here if they know where Professor Fumino is. With this many people, someone might know where I can find him. Well, there's the guy we saw at the uh, Soba restaurant yesterday. Excuse me, do you know Aya Fumino? Is she competing in the Kohaku Song Festival? I'm pretty sure she isn't, considering. Then I don't know her. Ah, oh, that was a waste of time. I asked a lot of people, but no one knows where Professor Fumino is. I could search for Aya using her photograph. Let's try that. Excuse me, do you know this girl? No, I don't. Is she your girlfriend? I showed the photograph of Aya to the people in the shopping area, but no one knew her. Maybe I'll have more luck somewhere else. I feel like this was not a very successful venture. It looks like this shop sells kimonos. I wonder if I made the wrong choices or there's just nothing here. It's an ordinary mailbox. It's a telephone pole. There are sparrows perched above. Hmm. Let's check the guidebook. A shopping district about 15 minutes walk from Matsue Castle, founded in 1724 when a court noble's daughter was married off to Matsue because she was homesick for the capital. This area was built to recreate the look of Kyoto. The heart-shaped paving stones and pink posts make this a popular spot for romance. Ooh, another aspect of this town proven to be romantic. Hmm, there's no one I can ask. Haha, -ha, strapping up a conversation when no one's around is something people do when they don't have any friends. Not that I have a lot of friends, but still. Come on, player, you're making a stupid choice. Shimane Art Museum. I think we heard about this maybe on the train when we read the ad. I start walking to the art museum. Ooh, it's starting to rain. Nobody in town or in the Kiyome, Kiyomise shopping area knew the Fuminos, so I'm trying a different approach. Aya seems like the smart type, so maybe she had some connection with art. That's why I thought to visit the Shimane Art Museum, the one they had an ad for on the train. But... Well, crap. And the rain's getting worse. Looking around, I see the people around me are taking out umbrellas. Looks like they're all ready for this. She is pretty. She's pretty. It's a young woman. A young woman offers an umbrella. Huh? Are you going to the art museum? Yeah, I am. So am I. Want to go together? Uh, sure. Are you in town sightseeing? I do look like a tourist, don't I? Forget your lunch, but don't forget your umbrella. What? It's a saying around here, because it rains so much. Locals never leave the house without an umbrella, I take it. Pretty much. Anyway, my name is Yukari Ishihara. I work at the art museum. She seems like an important character. Yukari Ishihara. I look at the business card she hands me. You're the curator of the museum? Oh, it's just a title. You're young to be a curator. That's impressive. 
I can show you around if you'd like. I'd like to take you up on that. Meeting someone because of the rain is kind of romantic. Oh wow, you're already hitting on him? Hitting on her? Meeting someone because of the rain is called... Inishi Zuku. Inishi Zuku. Inishi Zuku. It means something like destiny drops. Inishi Kuzu. Inishi Kuzu. That's a pretty word. We look at each other, smiling. The art museum faces Lake Shinji. It's a large, modern building with a glass front. What a magnificent museum. You have to see the pieces on display here. We have film screenings and wor workshop events, too. You really like this museum, don't you? Sorry, I get excited when I start thinking about it. The excitement about her job just lights up her face. Yukari folds her umbrella as she approaches the front of the museum. Thanks for the umbrella. I buy a ticket and head into the museum. Ishihara shows me around the museum. This painting is by Yataro Onouchi. He is from Shimane. It went missing for a long time. Where did they find it? In Spain. It was there for an auction. You went to Spain for an art auction? You have so much passion. There are a lot of other beautiful pieces here. I saw an ad on the train about the unknown local Matsue artist exhibit. Yes, that's my project. Sounds like a dream to have your work here as a local artist. A dream? As an inspiring artist, it would be great to have your work displayed here. That's true. A museum on the banks of Lake Shinji, the largest in the San'in region. Its theme is water and harmony, with exhibits of domestic and foreign art, woodblock prints, crafts, photography, sculptures, and more. It's said that touching the Lake Shinji rabbit statue outside will bring good luck. Okay. Hmm. How should I go about this? There's nothing to ask about. Can I check the area? I can look at the paintings. Oh, and she'll tell me about them. This one's cute. The artist painted it with a sensitive touch. The woman who drew it is still in college. As I'm looking at the special exhibition section, I see a painting of a kind-looking middle-aged woman. This is a nice painting. I arrive at the exit with Yukari. What did you think of the museum? It was really interesting. Please come again if you have the time. I wasn't able to ask about Aya. What do I do now? I need a moment to organize my thoughts. Can I just show her the photo? Can I ask? Hmm. Oh, think. I have a new option. Using the think command will give you a list of hints or things to say that are appropriate for the situation. Use this option if you're stuck. I know. I'll show her the photo of Aya. I tried to do that. <laughs> I literally just tried to do that. Okay, so it's... 
They said it's like a hint button, but I wasn't able to show her the eye of photo until I click think. Maybe, maybe it is a hint option, but the first time you use it, you have to use it. That's my guess. Anyway, let's show Yukari the photo of Aya. Actually, I'm looking for someone. Really? Who is it? Do you know the girl in this photograph? I show the photo of Aya. What? She's a pen pal I was corresponding with 15 years ago. I'm trying to find her. Oh, sorry, I don't know her. It's okay, don't worry about it. I don't believe Yukari. Yukari goes back to work. I know, I'll take this with me. I take the unknown local Matsue artist exhibit flyer with me. Can I look at that? Hmm. It's a landscape portrait. This is a strange picture. Yes, it looks like nothing. <laughs> it's a picture of war. All right then. Okay. Um, hmm. I checked the guidebook already. There's reception. There's a statue. What's this statue? It's really big. Can go upstairs. The stairs connect to the second floor. Okay. What's this? It shows upcoming exhibits. It's the reception desk. I can buy admission tickets and more here. Hmm. I feel like I'm not done here. Uh, I'm by myself, so there's no one to ask. Maybe there is at the reception desk? Oh, this is outside. Hold on. I don't see anyone. Okay, that's fine. Can we pet the rabbit statue? It's a guide for the museum. Okay. I don't want to think. That feels like cheating, but I don't know what to do. Aya's uniform was from Matsue Oba High School, right? Do we have that option now? Okay. I'll try not to use that option. That feels like cheating. I walk around the campus and the field. On the field, the baseball, soccer, tennis, and track teams are all practicing. I'm at the Shimani Prefecture Matsue Oba High School. If I ask around here, I might find something out. But how can I find some alumni to talk to? This feels weird to go to a high school as an adult. A big garden stone. Every school seems to have one. I try to think of a plan. I need to figure I need to figure something out beforehand. Oh, this girl looks like she goes here. Female student's voice. That's the man. I turn around to see a female student and a large tanned gorilla like man. Around the same age, I think. This guy is like a gorilla. He looks very angry. You! What are you doing here? I said it was weird to be here. I was just looking around. Looking around? More like peeping at the girls. You're coming with me. The big guy grabs me. No, seriously, I wasn't peeping. I'm looking for something. Criminals always deny the truth. Good thing I'm not a criminal then, huh? Just shut up and come with me. Oh, come on. He drags me with him. 
the big guy and another teacher question me. Apparently the gorilla's ma gorilla man's name is Masaya Watanabe, and the other teacher is named Sato. They question me in the faculty office. There's no evidence of photos taken or peeping happening, because I didn't freaking do that. This is called a false accusation. I could get a settlement if I wanted to lawyer up. Not that I'm going to, but they keep t tempting me. I checked his stuff. He hasn't taken any pictures of the girls. How many times do I have to say it? I didn't take any photos, didn't peep, didn't touch anyone. I was literally at the front gate for like five seconds. I looked at a stone and I'm dragged in. What the heck? Quit pulling our legs. Quit pulling this nonsense. Then why were you hanging around the school? Put it this way. I didn't break any laws. I know, you're a stalker. You really want to find a criminal, huh? Well, I can't make it any clearer. You're wrong about everything and full of crap. You're still suspicious. Maybe I need to tell them the truth and ask for information. That's the smart thing to do. Look, the reason I'm here is to find information about a graduate of this school named Aya Fumino. Are you a detective? No, I just want to know more about her. I can't give you personal information. That's common sense. Please, I won't misuse any information. No way, we're not telling you a damn thing. Yeah, I figured. I'm at the school's entrance with Watanabe. They finally figured out I was innocent and let me go. A uniformed baseball player approaches. Coach, we'd like to start the game soon. Be right there. Go start warming up. Alright, coach. Will do. He bows and leaves. Thanks to this gorilla man, I wasn't able to get any actual information. Well, I know the school employs a dumb gorilla man, but that doesn't help much. You're the baseball coach, huh? I thought you were strong. I have a bruise where you grabbed me. You can expect a bill. Get out of my face! I'm serious. Leave this guy knows Aya. Guess I could ask this guy about Aya. Do you know someone named Aya Fumino? Why are you asking about her? You know her? Aya Fumino is like a legend at this school. Beautiful and smart, great at sports, and talented with the arts. She was a tragic heroine who died at 18. When did she die? Like 25 years ago. More evidence that she died 25 years ago, not 15. There was a student named Aya Fumino that went here 15 years ago, wasn't there? Who knows? I'm busy. Just get out of here. Yeah, yeah, fine. I leave this school. I roll myself out, walking everywhere. I think I'll go back to my room for a bit. I'm at the Matsue Inn. Back at the Matsue Inn, the exhaustion of the trip suddenly sweeps over me, and I feel sleepy. In the darkness, I'm holding a candle as I climb the stairs. Where am I? As I walk down the hallway, I see the door at the end is open. Why is my body shaking? I can't keep going in that room. In that room, there's a girl in a uniform at her desk writing a letter with slow, measured strokes. Are you Aya Fumino? The girl slowly turns to me, her head pivoting like some kind of machinery. Her face is a black void. Yeah! It was a nightmare. 
When did I fall asleep? As I get up, Tomoko is chuckling. I hazily realize she's here to get the plates from dinner. <laughs> it it was a dream? You were moaning, sir. How long have you been here? I got here just before you went Ah Oh come on. You know, not many people would come all the way to Matsue just to look for someone. Yeah, well, that's my choice. Is there anything else? Oh, right. There's one thing. What? I heard the bartender of the Nakamura Bar, just outside of town, is an alumni of Matsue Oba High School. And how old is this he? About 30. Then he might know something. Thanks. I'll go check him out. Try not to have any more nightmares. Tomoko leaves the room. She really needs to learn to stop. When to stop talking. It's too early for a bath. I guess I could go check out the Nakamura Bar that Tomoko was talking about. I'm in front of the Nakamura Bar. It's a small town, so it was easy to find. It looks like a secret fort for adults. This does look nice. You have the river right in front of you. So much liquor. There's even liquor on the uh, bar, too. It's a small bar with a counter and a couple of tables. A good-looking bartender with a well-trimmed beard is the only one serving drinks. There's a middle-aged man at the counter. You call that a beard? Jeez. That's a beard over there, then. That's pathetic. You look like you're 15. The bartender's a good-looking guy. There are customers at the counter. Sit where you like. I take a seat. A bourbon on the rocks. Or maybe he's the guy with the beard. Are you visiting? Yeah, I'm from Tokyo. Shimane is a great place. Nice people, great food. Yeah, I'm noticing that. I'm sorry to start talking to you out of nowhere. I'm Nakamura. I own this place. Ah, okay. So far, I like it. Nozu, our bartender, works hard. It's thanks to him. Shota Nozu. If you like this place, don't be a stranger. This place isn't too popular yet, but we did get on TV not too long ago. Oh, nice. This photo on the wall is from that. Check the photo. I look at the photos on the wall. There's one of a female TV announcer standing with Nozu. Is that Landy standing with Nozu a celebrity? She's a popular TV announcer with Sun in Chuo TV. She went to high school with him, apparently. She's beautiful. She's stronger than she looks, too. Was she her girlfriend or something? No, no, just a classmate. I'm more of a man of the shadows. He's deep. Shadows? What does that mean? Is he Chunubu or something? 
That'd be fun. Let's see. Check the guidebook. A shot bar located along the banks of the Obashi River, a short distance from the bustle of the shopping district. The calm garnishes the night's drinks with ref refinement. The calm garnishes the night's drinks with refinement. The view of Obashi River from its wide windows is enchant enchantingly picture perfect and never grows old. With a glass of whiskey in hand from their abundant selection of scotch and other drinks, one can spend a pleasant time at this bar. Now, if that is a real bar, I'd like to see it in real life. This does look really nice. That's this guy. Maybe I should try and get to know people a little bit better instead of just asking about Ayafumina from the start. Let's check out Nozu's situation. What's the story behind your bartender? He looks like he plays around, but he's actually had a tough life. His dad's company went under when he was in high school, so he had to work his way through college. And now he's a bartender, so he didn't do too well in college, I guess. Ah. By the way, do you know a lot about liquor? Well, a decent amount. We have some Jim Beam's Devil Cut. Jim Beam's Devil's Cut. That's so funny. Was that like sponsored or something? That's such a strange, very specific, accurate, I don't know. That's just a weird thing to say. And that's not even like a fancy drink either. Jim Beam's Jim Beam Devil's Cut. That's really funny. Take him back from the devil. That's a rare liquor. No, it's not. Our bartender here found it. He's got a good eye. Pour the man a devil's cut on me. Coming right up. Thanks. He sets a glass of Jim Beam devil's cut in front of me, and I drank. Now that is some good bourbon. What the heck? Is this sponsored? This is so weird. That's a rare drink. Ooh, Jim Beam Devil's Cut. Mm, we took it back from the devil. That's... I don't know. That's really kind of lame. That that's... This must be sponsored. I don't know how else they could have done it. Or they paid for this just to... Like, basically do an ad for this liquor. Ooh, if I ever go to this bar, I'm going to get Jim Beam Devil's Cut, because it was in Root Letter. Whatever. Now that is some good bourbon. Right? It's only, you know, $35.99. He's got a good eye. I have a few bars here in the prefecture, but I'm thinking of selling him this place. Huh. Oh, is it that time already? I'd better get home. But you take your time. Don't rush on my account. Nakamura leaves. So we're alone with him. So I can't ask him about Aya straight out. Maybe we can get some new areas out of him. Anywhere around here I should check out. He looks smug. Definitely Matsue Castle. Okay, I didn't get much out of that. Knows his age. How old are you? I'm 32. About the right age. Would have been 17, 15 years ago. 
Oh, hey, that's the same age as me. Hey, I heard you graduated from Matsue Oba High School. Yeah, I did. Why do you ask? So he might know Aya Fumino. See if I can show him the picture. Was there an Aya Fumino at your high school? What? This girl. I show him the photo of Aya. Who the hell are you? I came here from Tokyo because I'm looking for her. Nozu's attitude completely changes. He's looking me over, on guard. It's time to close shop. Go home. What? Why? We're closed. Get out of here. Wow. No one wants to talk about Aya. I hurry out of the bar. Well, that didn't work. Why'd they get so angry? I got kicked out. It was a... It was like a switch flipped on the bartender when I mentioned Aya Fumino's name. He knows something, but it's late. I better go back to the inn. I looked all over for information about Aya Fumino, but all I found was more questions. Finding her is going to be harder than I thought. What I know is people are sure the person I was sending letters to died 25 years ago. She went to Matsue Oba High School, and that bartender seems to know something. That's about it. I think the key is the seven classmates that Aya mentioned in her letters. If I can find them, I should be able to solve the mystery. Maybe tomorrow I'll be able to find Aya. Oh, chapter two already. Dragonfly Stationery. The light of morning streams in through the windows. It's been three days since I came to Matsue. I thought it would be easy to find my pin pal Aya Fumino, but it seems like it's going to be a lot harder than I thought. There's a knock on the door. Come in. The door opens and Tomoko comes into the room. Good morning. I'm here to put the futon away. Yes, thank you. Sir, I take it you're extending your stay? I'm staying for a few more days. Could you let Haruka know? Will do. Are you going to do any sightseeing today? Sorry, I cut her off. Will do. Are you going to do any sightseeing today? I'm going back to that vacant lot again. Please watch out for ghosts! Luckily, this is happening in real life, so I don't have to worry about ghosts. You know, in horror movies, whoever says that gets killed first. This is what I have to deal with, apparently. Oh, I should check the weather report before I leave. That must be the woman. That Noku. New, correct? Probably. On TV, a female anchor is reading the weather report. It will be a sunny day in Matsue City today, with the average temperature at around 25 degrees. I've seen her somewhere. It was around here somewhere. No, I'd remember. Is she from a local TV station, maybe? She's the most popular female host on San In Chuo TV. Her name is Misaki Murakami. I swear I've seen her somewhere else before. Where in Matsue have you been to? The airport? The bus stop, the train station, the actual train, Matsui Station, Kamiyarian, the library. What about the Nakamura Bar? That's it! I saw a picture at the bar. 
The bartender said they were in the same grade in high school. I'm curious if I hadn't looked at that picture if I would not have this conversation. That's interesting. I'm curious what would happen otherwise. Because I'm curious if your choices actually matter or if they just kind of make it seem like they matter. That's it. I saw her picture at the bar. The bartender said they were in the same grade in high school. Maybe she... Maybe she... I think that's a typo. Maybe she one of... Maybe she one of Aya's classmates. Wait. She said in the letter that she had a classmate called Chatty Bitch. She makes a living flapping her gums. She must be bitch! Most women are chatty, you know. Hey, please don't insult my Sherlock Holmesian detective skills. Just said what I thought. Oh, I forgot to give you this. It, it's our ENDS newsletter. I acquired the ENDS newsletter. The writing is so small, I can barely read it. Now, if you'll excuse me, Tomoko leaves the room. I brought Aya's letters. I might find something there. I should look them over again. I pull one of the letters out from my bag. This is the second letter from her. It's postmarked June 25th. She is Dragonfly stationery. It's kind of cute. I read the letter. テストの成績は常にトップで高校 私はそんな人と暮らす神の使いの猫池に浮かべて早く沈むと妖艶に恵まれるそうです。私はすぐに沈んだのですが、一緒にやった親友は効果が沈まなくて、期限の倒していました。祭りに来ることがあったら、マックス君もやってみてください。冬の綾。P.S
Can I go back? Well, that's annoying. I didn't... Great. Okay, well, it didn't let me look at the second half of the letter, or I didn't understand the controls. But the second half of the letter was her talking about going to a shrine, and there was a pool there where you could drop a token and on a piece of paper or like drop a coin as like an offering and if it fell really quickly you had good luck and if it fell really slowly you had bad luck Aya's fell really quickly but her best friend bestie her coin took forever to sink and she was upset by that also I think four eyes got a golden cat charm from the shrine, which apparently is good luck. Okay, so. This is my letter. Sorry that I skipped that. I'll try not to do that again. Okay. Thank you for your letter. I also have a smart friend. He's an eccentric we call Ranpa. Just like his nickname, he's a weird guy who enjoys arguments, especially when he wins them. What will he become in the future? Man, just thinking about it gives me chills. He might end up as some kind of mad scientist. I hope he turns out all right, but I'm seriously worried. If he starts going in a weird direction, I'll have to stop him myself. There I go, living up to the name Max again. That mirror pond sounds interesting. As the land of marriage, it must have lots of romantic places. I want to try floating a coin and seeing if it sinks, too. Max. Okay. So, her question was, what do you want to do in your last year of high school? So I can say, my last year of high school, I want to explore ancient ruins. My last year of high school, I want to research history. In my last year of high school, I want to participate in school events. Hmm. I really don't know what to pick. Does this matter? I don't know. Last time we talked about shrines, and then she wrote a letter about shrines, that could be a coincidence, or it could be because of what I wrote. But explore old ruins, history, or school functions. Let's say old ruins. That sounds interesting. And then, by the way, are there mysterious stories about Shimane? By the way, who was the famous warrior from Shimane? By the way, what kinds of events are popular in Shimane? Are there any spooky stories, famous warriors, events? Let's ask about events. Yes. What I wrote back to her was about the most teenage thing ever. I feel embarrassed just thinking about it. I should start by going to the vacant lot. Here I am at the vacant lot. A middle-aged woman walks by and comes closer. Is there something you're after here? Do you live nearby, by any chance? Yeah, that house over there. A Mr. Fumino used to live here. Do you know where he is now? 
いが悪かったけん誰も知らんのじゃないかしら No, sorry. He wasn't too friendly. So I doubt anyone in the neighborhood would really know. And I understand he had a daughter. He did. Her name was Aya. So Aya Fumino did in fact exist. Anything you'd recommend around here? The girl at the vegetable store in Three Chom, Chome, is very pretty. That's a weird response, but okay. You'd recommend a woman, alright. Maybe show her the picture. Is it this girl? Is it the girl in this picture? I show her the photo of Aya. Right, her. Maybe it was a long time ago. I don't remember well. I don't think she'll be able to. She'll be much help here. You came here to cover a ghost story, didn't you? <sighs> no, not a ghost. I've seen it several times. Aya's ghost. Are you sure it wasn't just some girl hanging out in the vacant lot? No, no, definitely not, because I first saw it before the house burr... Cut off the sentence. <laughs> uh, presumably before the house burned down. It's a weird glitch. Why did that happen? Oversight or something? Was that 15 years ago? Aya is supposed to be dead, but I saw her by the window in Mr. Fumino's house. Are you sure it wasn't someone else? No, I took a closer look, and it was Aya. She was at her desk. I wonder if she was still studying, even after becoming a ghost. Or maybe she was writing a letter? Hey, come on. A ghost? Yeah, that's exactly how she looked. How creepy. A letter from the dead! Oh, so scary! The middle-aged woman walks away. Oh, come on. Where should I go next? I think one of her letters said she'd go. She'd gone to the mirror pond at Yaigake Shrine. Can I read that newspaper? I'd like to... Okay, let's check out the shrine. Okay, let me see. Guidebook. The mirror pond is at Yaigake Shrine, and that's in Sakusame Forest. Maybe I should go to Yaigake Shrine. Okay. Can I see the cute girl at Three Comb or whatever? Chome. San Chome. Yagake Shrine. Here I am at Yagake Shrine. It feels serious and tense, which I guess fits Izumo's great god of marriage. First, I should offer a prayer. I walk up to the shrine proper and pray. May I find Aya Fumino, and please keep me safe during the trip, too. Now that I gave my greeting to the local god, where's the mirror pond? Let's check the guidebook. 
This shrine stands in the place where Susanu, Susano no Mikoto is said to have sheltered Inatahime no Mikoto after slaying Yamata no Orochi. Afterwards, the two gods were married here, and it became known as a holy ground for marriage in honor of their love. Can I ask anyone? Okay, let's check. Here's the off offering box or whatever. It's a box for offerings. I'll pass for now. There's a stone lantern. Interesting. I didn't know those were made of stone. Maybe just this one is. What is this? It's a paper lantern. There's a tree. I look around the shrine grounds. There are a lot of girls lining up at a shrine office. They're buying fortunes. I find the way to the mirror pond. It looks like the mirror pond is this way. As I walked through the lush forest, I found a pond. This must be the mirror pond. Can I offer a coin? The girls are getting their love fortunes. There are a bunch of girls getting fortunes for their romantic prospects. There are two who are in high school who look like close friends. That one on the left is the one that called me a, a creepo earlier. Fifteen years ago, Aya was here doing love fortune telling with her best friend, just like them. I imagine Aya here fifteen years ago. We get a flashback. Aya and her best friend are getting their love fortunes. Let's split them at the same time and see who sinks first. Sure, I know I'm going to win. On the count of three. Say no! Each floats her calligraphy paper on the water and carefully puts a coin on it. Come on, you can do it! Come on. Hurry up and sink. It's kind of weird that you would want yours to sink first, because you could do it purposefully. But... Alright then. Ayes is the first to sink. Yes! Mine sunk first! Mine is still there. What did I do wrong? She was just a regular high school student. Hey, young man. Why don't you do it? Huh? Oh, there's the old man from earlier. As I turn, I see a familiar old man. Ugh, why here? You're the old man from the bath at Matsue Inn. He's got the best music. I'm not an old man. My name is Kogumo Izumi. What are you doing here? Eh, old folks like shrines. But you just said you weren't old. But this place is for more, you know, romantic fortune telling. I've still got some life in me, boy. Fine, whatever. Do what you want. Enough about me. What about you? Why don't you do it? I'm a guy, by myself. You want me to make a fool of myself? Don't be embarrassed. You could find your soulmate. Gramps, don't say crap like that. He's my favorite character. 
You came all the way out here, and you're just going to leave without trying it out? Yeah, you have a point. Let's give this a try. I'll wait for you. Go to the shrine office and get your fortune. All right. All right, I'm going to the shrine office. They sell standard stuff like fortune slips and charms at the shrine office. Excuse me, I'd like to buy a, a love fortune, please. All right, one love fortune, calligraphy paper, coming up. A shrine maiden hands me a small sheet of calligraphy paper. Here you are, floated on the water, and the words of your destiny will appear on the paper. Best of luck. Thank you. I hand her the money. Acquired a fortune paper. I should go to where the old man is. Can I ask that shrine woman? Saying that won't help. Okay, whatever. Here I am back at the mirror pond. It's still crowded with girls. Where did the old man get to? Right here, young man. I want to get away from this geezer. Ugh, don't wave at me. Everyone is looking. I go over to the old man. Did you get it? Yep, I did. A sheet of paper for fortune telling that they sell at Yaigake Shrine. There's a writing that appears when it gets wet. Here we are. Alright, let's do it together. Why am I here doing love fortune telling with an old man? This is where my life is at now. Uh, I have Fumino did it as a teenage girl with Bestie, and now I, here I am with an old man that I met in a bath. It's funny. You know what they say, even a chance meeting is due to fate. Ha 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 ha. Fine. I float the paper on the surface of the pond with a coin on it. Look, it's starting to show the words. Words appear on the writing paper. Good fortune in the north. Was there something to the north? Good fortune in the north. What does that even mean? Yeah, I can't ask him about the... The woman in San Come or whatever. There are lots of girls here. Oh, maybe not. Women love romance-related content. It's nothing new. Content? Are you going to propose a social media strategy? Don't make fun of me. I know the way of the world. Okay. How did his offering go? Did you make an offering? Of course, I threw in 485 yen. What kind of number is 485? Four for the cardinal compass directions. Eight to include the ordinal compass directions. And five for Goen, meaning fate. I see. With age comes wisdom, huh? <laughs> I've been around a bit longer than you. Of course I know a thing or two. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can save. Good. I can. So... We are in chapter two now, and we're going to try and find something in the north. I'm excited to find out what that might be. But for now, I've been Usage Sake, and this has been Root Letter. I will see you again next time. Bye.